What in the world is wrong with the world? It just seems craziness is getting crazier. In the last little while, what has happened in three months? We go from lockdown with COVID-19, then out into the streets to protest racism, from racism to civil unrest and burning things down, taking over city blocks. Like something's wrong. And it seems like this chaos is on the increase. I saw a recent clip with Chris Cuomo from CNN that I think perfectly summarizes the faulty philosophy that is perpetuating the problem. I think Chris has got it all wrong. Take a look. If you believe in one another, and if you do the right thing for yourself and your community, things will get better in this country. You don't need help from above. It's within us. Mr. Chris Cuomo knows that there's something wrong. He's concerned, and I believe he's sincere, but he's sincerely wrong. Why? Well, because he can't leave God out of the solution. Recall in Genesis, the earth was a formless void, and darkness covered the face of the deep. Then God said, let there be light, and there was light. You see, God is a God of order. When we look into society, we can see a lot of chaos. But you can't solve chaos by removing the author of order. And if you do the right thing for yourself and your community, things will get better in this country. What if your community is Black Lives Matter? What if you look within and you do what is right for yourself and the values of Black Lives Matter? Well, then society cannot get better because Black Lives Matter believes in the disruption of the very building block of society, which is the family. If you look on their official website under the tab, What We Believe, it states, We disrupt the Western prescribed nuclear family structure requirement by supporting each other as extended families and villages that collectively care for one another, especially our children, to the degree mothers, parents, and children are comfortable. That's a little unclear, that last part. What if you stop feeling comfortable to care for other people? Does that mean you stop caring for them? But think about the very first part, the the disruption of the nuclear family. What is that? Mom and dad raising kids. See, that's the basic building block of society. When you take that away, society crumbles. You break up the family. What happens? Lawlessness. See, God created man and woman to be complementary, not in competition to one another. And the most beautiful way this is expressed is within the family unit where children are raised. When you break that down, you get chaos. Now, you can set aside the, the scriptures if you want. Statistically, we know this is true. 70% of juveniles in state-operated institutions come from fatherless homes. 63% of youth suicides come from fatherless homes. 90% of all homeless and runaway youth come from fatherless homes. When you have the breakdown of the family, you get chaos in the streets. Simple. Now, I know some people say, well, I don't want to support the organization Black Lives Matter. I just want to deal with racism in our society. And I would say, great, yes, let's deal with it. But let's deal with it by understanding that it is a symptom of an underlying and deeper problem. And what is that? When you push God out of culture, you have a decrease of virtue in society And then the human person is no longer valued. You push God out, virtue goes down in society, and then the value of the human person is completely lost. And we see this in so many different areas of society, not just with racism, but with proliferation of pornography or contraception or abortion. The human person is simply not valued anymore. The organization Black Lives Matter does not have the capacity to fix racism because their ethic towards life is completely inconsistent and contradicts itself. For example, they do nothing to protect the lives of unborn black babies. So how can you be out on the street saying Black Lives Matter when the most vulnerable black lives are being slaughtered in abortion clinics? 
clearly the organization is rather selective in which black lives matter. You don't need help from above. It's within us. It's within us. When you look within and push God out, you get chaos. We also see this chaos all of a sudden now in how doctors are becoming champions of the elderly in our society. They say we have to protect them in the, in the nursing homes from COVID-19. And I would agree, absolutely. But I would argue they don't have the capacity to do this because their ethic is inconsistent. How can you claim to be a champion of the elderly and treat them for COVID-19 in one room, but then kill them through assisted suicide in another. You see, the ethic is inconsistent. Doing one thing here, doing another thing there, and what happens? You get chaos. When you look within and push God out, you get chaos. You don't need help from above. It's within us. Looking within does not solve the problem because what is on the inside is broken, and broken people will break people. Our Wills are weak, our desires are disordered, our intellect is dulled. Just think of something as simple as treating ourselves right. We know we're supposed to lose weight, get lots of sleep, and eat right. But what do we do? We gain weight. We stay up late, and we stuff our face with junk food. <laughs> we can't even treat ourselves right. How in the world are we supposed to treat other people right? See, this is where most of the world gets it all wrong. We need God. Leaving God out of the solution will only create more chaos. A broken society cannot fix itself. We need saving. Therefore, we need a savior. We need Jesus. Now, I'm not saying that we just passively sit back and just pray and hope that everything gets better. We have to do everything humanly possible, acting virtuously to fix any injustices, all the while acknowledging we are completely helpless to do this under our own strength. We need to welcome God back into our homes, back into our lives, back into our society. We need to turn away from sin, ask God's forgiveness, seek his face, then he will come and heal our land. What in the world is wrong with the world? We are. We're broken. We're broken by sin. And that is why we need a Savior. That is why we need Jesus. My name is Ken Yuzinski from CatholicSpeaker.com. Thanks for watching.